Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video talking about some of the stuff that I've got in following this video that I did with a gentleman called Marcus. And what we did there is we were looking at the motor and prop combination that I needed for what I wanted out of this 3D printed plane. This is the Eclipse and White Wing that I'm currently building. Now there is a recommended motor and prop on the website, but I wanted to confirm that that was absolutely the one that's going to fit the way that I want to fly because different motor and props are going to be different better for different ways of flying. So knowing exactly how I want to fly the wing, I wanted to get the best version for that specific flying style. Now in that video, you will remember that we ended up with a 2212 1400 kV motor, and we also ended up with an 8x4 inch prop, and we ended up about 40 amp ESC. Knowing all that, and knowing that I also needed a couple of fab servos, metal geared digital ideally uh, for the build I went on to the 3DXR website found all those pieces and ordered them all as well as a couple of spares for the spares bin because that's pretty good motor size for an awful lot of this kind of class of wing so it's all just arrived so I thought what would be fun is let me unpack it and show you what has come in here uh, I am going to be building that wing with iNav I'm also going to be uh, using a Matek flight controller, surprise, surprise, but there's a couple of extra things in this box that I've got in as well for a future project. So let's go onto the desk and I'll unbox it and show you what I've got in. First two things out of the box are two 40 amp ESCs, but they are quite different. This is the Hobby Wing one. This is the X-Rotor 40 amp V1. This one has three and a half inch bullets here, so you can just plug the motor in. It doesn't have a BEC, so there's only two wires that go back to what's probably a flight controller. So if you're using a flight controller for iNav or something like that, this is a great choice. And it also supports 2 to 6S, so even the bigger fixed wings or wings uh, you can use it for. So this is a great companion and probably the one I'll end up using in my 3D printed wing when I build it out. The other one here is from T-Motor. This is the AT40 amp. This only goes from 2 to 4S and has cables on it rather than the bullet connectors. So it's handier if the motor is a little bit further away. You can just solder the connectors onto the end or solder the motor directly in place. This does have a BEC. This will supply three amps at five volts. So more useful if you are not running something like a flight controller that's going to provide the five volts that you need for your servos and other pieces. Next couple of things in here are some Emacs servos. Uh, these are kind of my go-tos really for these days. Uh, these are the Emacs ES08MD2s. Cute little servos, nine gram styly. Um, and they have metal gears as well. So these are the kind of ones that I tend to use. Uh, digital servos, brilliant performance, just unbelievably reliable. If you're looking for some cute little um, nine gram sized, uh, these are the ones that I would recommend. So obviously I'm building a wing. So I actually have two of those. So those will go into the wing of that 3D printed bird. I uh, have some other things in here. This is a, a UBEC, a 10 amp, two to six S UBEC. Let me see if I can get in here. So obviously, there we go. Um, this is handy for bigger builds where you need a little bit more oomph. So this will allow you to run an awful lot more um, kind of power out of it, servos and stuff. And you even kind of have a little switch here to turn things on and off. So if you're building something that's a bit chunkier that you want to have um, a, a nice amount of power, maybe you, know, you want to replace the battery eliminator circuit that's in a flight controller uh, with something like this, or maybe use this alongside an ESC that doesn't have a battery eliminator circuit, this is a cracker. Again, 10 amps and two to 6S, and it also has the switch to manage it as well. 
Along with that, uh, Matex system also do a little servo power distribution board. Uh, this is kind of a handy thing to have with something like the UBEC, allows you to get that power where it needs to be. So you can actually connect the power up to the board and then have the signals going from something like a flight controller, so maybe a Pixhawk or something else. Uh, so rather than you'd be worried about overdriving um, the current capacity of the onboard battery illuminated circuits, you can kind of use this dedicated piece of kit. This is a metal case. This is a pretty serious way to do it if you have a lot of servos or you have some big ones that maybe when they're working pull quite a bit of current. In addition to the ESCs, then obviously we need some motors. Now I've got a couple in here that I'm going to play with. This fella, if I can get him out, there we go. This one is one of the T motors. This is the AS series. This is the 1400 KV version. So this is a quite a cute uh, little motor. I've used these on lots of things. So this is kind of the AS version. Again, links to all this stuff down below. So this is the AS2317 1400 KV motor. Uh, that might be the one that goes in the wing. Or my other thought is one of these. This is the AS3212 KV1400, again from T-Motor. So this is a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact, and it's probably going to come down to weight at the back of the model, which ones of these I will use. Because uh, obviously this is a little bit shorter, um, than the other version. Again, links down to both of these, but I 1400 KV is kind of where I ended up. In addition to that, we also have the other AT motor. I've also got one of these in. This is the AT3212. And this is kind of looking very similar. So you kind of have the AT and the AS versions. So again, I'm just going to have to just see which one is going to fit better in the model and which one's going to work nicer. I must admit, I do like the way that on the AS versions, uh, the back is open. There's a lot more uh, airflow around to keep everything nice and cool when I am pushing it. Last couple of things in here as well. Now these are the two things for a future project rather than for the wing. First one is a new Pixhawk. This is the new Pixhawk Cube. This is the H757. And this one comes with ADS-B as well. So this is for all of you Pixhawk fans. So this is the latest one. In terms of what it looks like um, and the connections, very, very similar if you're a Pixhawk person already to what you probably already know and love. And then along with that, we have the GPS unit that goes with it is the Cube Pilot version. So this is the new Here 3 Plus GPS module and it uses the CAN interface. Now this is the same as the one that I've been building in my VTOL, but this along with the new Pixhawk should give me another platform for something I'm thinking of doing probably around Christmas. So there we have it, lots of new stuff and lots of this is going to go into the 3D printed wing with the cube and the here three GPS uh, for something that I'm hopefully going to share with you all when we get a little bit further into winter. So again, links down to this all down below if you're interested. But now you know what kind of stuff I'm going to be putting in the back of my 3D printed wing and also a sneak peek of something that's coming soon. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.